Hi, today we're going to be installing the HPS Performance Air Intake Kit for a 2012 Toyota RAV4 V6. First, we're going to disconnect the negative battery cable. This one, we're just using a 10 mil. So next, we're going to unplug the mass airflow sensor. So we're just going to squeeze right here and pull that off. Go. We're gonna unplug the uh, vacuum switching valve. That's right here. Just same thing. Just kind of squish that, pull that out of the way, and then there's this clip right here. Um, you may or may not need to use a screwdriver to kind of um, pry back the the clip. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm squeezing that in on on both sides and that'll release it from the, the bracket so i'm going to use this 90 degree pick um, i'm just prying it right there and then prying it back the other way and this should pop right out and then after that i'm just gonna unclip it from the side right here that way it's it's away from the air box and then we'll just kind of Put that away for, for the time being. So next we're going to remove this cover. There's one, two, three um, rubber grommets that hold it in together. So it's just lift up like that and it should just pop right out. Take manifold right here. Um, what you want to do is just kind of grab it nice and tight. Just pull straight out. You don't want to put any sideways kind of force onto it or you could risk damaging that. Cool. So next, we're gonna go back on the on this valve, and there's a, this vacuum hose right at the top. We're gonna unplug that one, and unbuckle right here and right here. So one, two. Next, we're gonna remove the breather hose from the stock intake hose. It's just you can just squeeze it by hand, and then an anchor a little a little bit of twisting might. Be necessary. So I'm just gonna loosen that guy right there. Snap it out pretty good amount. And then there we should be able to kind of pull this back. And then once it's far enough we can uh, we can remove the upper air box from the car. Next we're gonna have to disconnect this battery cable from from this clip. Um, this is for the starter, so that's why we want to disconnect that negative cable, um, especially when you're working with um, battery cables. So we're using a small flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to slide that in here, give it like a nice quarter turn. You'll hear it click, and that should that should release it right there. So now that's good. And get this air filter out of the way and there's three bolts in there we're going to remove those i'm going to use a 10 millimeter on a on a impact gun just to kind of speed it up there's another hose right here um that just gets unclipped from from the bracket so remember to do that this guy can come out. Next, we're gonna remove the mass airflow sensor from the stock airbox. Use a, a Phillips screwdriver. There's one. There's a second one. And then we're gonna remove the mass airflow sensor from the airbox. Next, we're gonna install this onto the HPS intake pipe. We do that simply by pushing that in. And then we have two M4 screws that we provide. Those get installed there. And we're gonna use a three millimeter Allen wrench to fasten these screws. like that cool 
in the next, we're gonna install the, uh, the provided mass um, sensor sleeve, venturi sleeve into the um, intake pipe. So we just wanna make sure we line up that slot to, um, to the sensor, just like that. It slides right in, just like that. First, we'll remove this lower um, vacuum hose. Same thing, we just wanna pull straight out. And then we'll uh, remove this Phillips head screw. Okay, now that you have the solenoid out, we're gonna install the two vacuum caps that we provide onto those ports. Now we're all set. So I'm gonna install this half inch M6 vibration mount onto this mounting point right here. Get it down as, as far as we can. And then I'm gonna place the vacuum solenoid there and install the M6 nut that we provide. Then we're gonna just fasten this down. Good. We're going to install the remaining um, vacuum cap onto the intake manifold. Just push it straight in. No. Silicone reducer and clamps onto the throttle body. So I have it set up just like this. But the large side is going to go onto the throttle body. Just like that. using a seven millimeter socket or a flathead screwdriver, you can use either of those to fasten this down. So we're just gonna tighten it there for now. Leave this one loose. Install the edge trim onto the heat shield. We're gonna start with this piece that's about 15 inches long. Um, that will go on the inside of this opening here. So. Just start from the bottom, work your way all the way around. And just when you get close to the end, it's gonna get a little tougher. So I kind of like to squeeze the end in first and then work my way back. Okay. The second piece that's about five inches long. Right at this bend is where we're gonna start. We wanna start on this side of it. Right there, and work our way all the way around. About there. Route this back behind underneath this bracket right here. So have the vacuum solenoid section. Actually, you can plug that in now. Okay. And we'll just make sure this is all clear for for the heat shield. So just drop that right in here. to the next step. Now we're going to install the provided screws or bolts, bolts and washers to secure this heat shield. So we're gonna start from the back there. Oh man. Just get it on there a couple threads. Same for the front. Just get a couple of threads in there and then we're gonna tighten it with our uh, 10 millimeter socket on an extension.
right. We're gonna measure three quarters of an inch on the throttle body side of the intake pipe. So three quarters of, of an inch or 19 millimeters. I'm just gonna mark it right there. And all this is to do is to let us know how far we can push in the intake pipe onto the onto the coupler. So we'll just do two marks like that, maybe 90 degrees away from each other, and that should be pretty good. All right, so next we're going to uh, install the air filter into the heat shield. Um, you can just install it just like this, or what I like to do is actually remove the, the clamp and put the air filter through, and then put the clamp back on. And then right now, we're going to install the uh, HPS intake pipe onto the air filter. We just want to make sure that, again, that we have that sleeve installed. So let's just slide that right in. Okay. And then, then you can kind of just guide it into the cover. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten this clamp onto the air filter. Just so it's one less thing I need to worry about later. But I'm gonna use a eight millimeter socket for. So next I'm going to line this up, line those two lines that I just made earlier um, onto the, uh, the coupler. And this pipe basically just Pretty much we'll use this as a reference pretty much that will be level to the ground um, have those lines pretty much right there at the edge of the coupler we'll put the clamp here about a sixteenth of an inch from the edge and then we'll fasten that down with a seven millimeter socket or a flathead screwdriver your choice 